Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would share with you how I set up my 2018 YouTube diary. So I am ridiculously organized, and the reason I'm so organized is so I can upload three times a week, which I now do. And I just thought I'd share with you my diary. I'll do this again next year. It'll probably be the same setup. I've not really changed much. So I use a personal planner. You can design them yourself. You can design everything from the front cover to the insert, everything. Now on my first page, you can do like a bio, things like that, but you can put whatever you want. So I have put YouTube. I did this on the 1st of January. I wrote down how many subscribers I had, how many views I've had, and what my total earnings were. And then at the bottom, I've just had a little message put in, and it's actually a Disney quote that says, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. And that is basically what I've done. I'm not showing you how much I've earned, <laughs> because one, it's not that good. <laughs> no, it's mine. That's just a little bit of my personal information. So that is what I had put on that page. Now, when I say you can design everything, you can design everything from the way it's laid out to the colour scheme, the works, and I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you, this is very far into the year, how I set it up. Okay, so I have some pink sticky notes. I have to trim them to make them fit, but I'm absolutely fine by that. And I have film edits and upload on it. So I write down a video that I want to do. So for instance, my top three eyeshadow palettes, check it out. It probably will be there somewhere about, unless I get another video that I'll just move it. I have um, an empty to get some reviews. I plan them in every month um, because I do have quite a lot of them. I have quite a few empty to get some reviews. So I just plan them in. So these are videos that I've planned in. Now I upload three times a week. So there is a gap here because I have no idea what I'm going to put there yet. That's just how it works. That's how it works. On the days I don't upload, I have done, I've just got a butterfly stamp. Um, I've just actually gone and repurchased one for next year because I do have next year's diary coming soon. I'm not, not so I can plan, just I had some spare money and in my, my personal diary, I like to have the next year's diary so that cause I, basically what I do for an instance if I have filmed all of these and on the next page I filmed and they're uploaded and they're ready and they're scheduled for you guys I will actually just rip this page out and it's the same with my personal diary I like to remove January but then I like to put next year's January in so I constantly have 12 months in my diary which I know is weird and sad and that's absolutely fine it's mine and that's how I like to work so this is basically how I set it up there's nothing more to it than that. Next year, I'm going back to my A5 size just because I like to swap it out and change it up. But that is all, that's all I do. That's how I set my diary up. It's nothing more than that. So I'll sit there with my sticky notes at the side of my bed and if I come up with a film idea, I'll just write it down and I will find the next available gap and see if it fits there. Like if it was like two get ready with me's, I won't put two get ready with me's on the trot. Or if it's a plan with me video, I won't put two plan with me videos next to each other. So then I'll find the next available spot. But other than that, that is my diary and how I set it up. I'm not going to go through it all because there is things that are planned, there are things that aren't planned and that was the first page I got to. And the ruler, by the way, actually comes out and I put the ruler in where my next video needs to be basically. So if I've got a video for next week, my ruler will be in there ready. And if I've managed to get quite far ahead, then I'll just put my ruler there. But nine times out of 10, the ruler is right at the front of the diary anyway, because I rip the pages out when we've passed that date. Or if they're completely planned out, I just rip them out and they're gone. So my diary will actually get thinner throughout the year, not thicker. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you'd like to check out one of my latest videos, click over in the top corner. And if you'd like to see a video that YouTube has selected for you, click over in the bottom corner. I'd like to thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days in another video. And bye-bye.